Just east of the Marriott Center sits the newest building on the Brigham Young University campus. The BYU Broadcasting Building is up and running, and we're ready to take a tour. Derek Marquis is the Managing Director of BYU Broadcasting. Derek, this is an impressive building. It's a lot of fun. What new capabilities do you have? I mean, what can you do now that you couldn't do before? Uh, well, for one thing, we can now broadcast BYU television in full HD all over the world, uh, assuming that a cable operator or satellite op operator is carrying us in HD. That's something that we've not had the, the capacity or capability to do. The facilities that we've been in were built for a, well, frankly, they were built for a single analog black and white television station. And we've made upgrades over the years, but they weren't capable of, of uh, really carrying us into this new digital era that we find ourselves in. Does this compare to any other facility that you're aware of? Not that I'm aware of. There are some incredible facilities around the world and certainly in the United States. Um, but I, this is, I believe, one of the first that has brought together all of the technologies for radio, for television, for distribution of services with the master control head ends uh, and production facilities, studio production uh, facilities all under one roof. We're very happy with this and we think it will last us many, many years into the future. What does this building mean for the future of BYU Broadcasting, the university and the church as a whole? Um, I think what it means is it allows us to more easily uh, provide content that will, that will bless families, that will reveal the campus uh, to audiences around the world in ways that we've not been able to do previously. It will allow us to literally reach to the four corners of the earth. George Tate is the broadcast operations manager, and as soon as you walk in the building, you see Master Control, which is really the crown jewel of this building now. Yeah, uh, Master Control was set up. Uh, it's um, a facility that people like to come look at to see what's actually being broadcast through all of our many channels. We have four television properties. We also have four radio properties. Each property broadcasts a total of 8,700 hours, a little bit more than 8,700 hours per year. So that ends up being about 72,000 hours of programming out of this room alone. Let's work backwards, going from master control to post-production, where everything is finalized before it goes on air. Bart Chittister is the post-production and graphics manager here. Uh, tons of edit bays, I see. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> quite a few more than we had before, and we're extremely excited about it. Uh, around this arc here, uh, we have 10 edit bays. There's 10 edit stations that producers and editors and others are able to go into. But beyond that, we also have an editing lab, which has at least another 13 stations in it. What people should know is that not only do we produce a lot of our own content, but we produce all the promotions around it uh, and the graphics that are associated with it. We produce most everything uh, that, that our stations, especially BYU TV and Channel 11 and BYU TV International have and, and they use. We are self-contained and we take care of all of that. Uh, one of the things that they do here as well, uh, specifically on a quick turnaround, is any game that BYU TV isn't producing that we have the rights to show after it's done, they record them here, whether it's whatever channel it might be recorded on, as long as we can get the rights. They bring it in here, they record it very quickly, they edit it very quickly so that our viewers can see it as soon as, uh, as, soon as we're able to get it on air. So it's this department that does that. Before anything can be aired or even edited, it needs to be shot. Let's go to the studios. Steven Enfield is the studio production manager and back here, this is a, the biggest office I've seen anybody have in this building. <laughs> yeah, I actually, it is surprising. I do have a cubicle though, but uh, this is mostly But you're never there. But I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm never there. And um, I'm always either between the three facilities that we have. We have three studios. This is the most important studio for, for our audience. Yeah, for, for this show, this is. No, for, for any show, any audience, this is the most important <laughs> studio. This particular studio right now is, we're in, we're in the construction phase of, of putting together the new True Blue set. Um, believe it or not, this is actually a set that I designed um, and we had built at the, uh, the motion picture studio. The, the great guys over there um, assembled this set for us and um, put together kind of my vision on, from paper to, to what you see here. This is um, the smallest of our studios. and um, this Great uh, things come in small packages. Great things do come in small packages because you'll see a lot of great packages come out of the studio. We're still quite a ways away from finishing this up, but we'll get it done and we'll be By ready the time to go. this airs, because we're going to air this on our first show out of here. There you go. So on the first show, you'll see that we've made massive improvements here. You know, the idea here is, is to have a really nice sports set and, and a new home for True Blue. Yeah, I think it's going to be an exciting new adventure for us. We, we hope not to change the show a whole lot. It's been successful. We plan on just keeping it going. But yet we have a new set. 
We have a little bit of a new format. We have a new producer, right? And so uh, I've done these kind of shows for a long time, but not recently. And so I'm looking forward to it. And we've been doing sports on BYU television for 10 years. Um, but now we can expand and do uh, things we haven't been able to do in, uh, before. Two games in a day, maybe three games in a day. Three or four years ago, we were doing about 25 a year. We've increased that to around 50, 55 the last couple of years. Starting in, in the academic year, 2011, 2012, we'll increase sports production to about 100, 120 games a year. And so after more than 20 years at the KBYU Media Center, and twice that long at the Harris Fine Arts Center, BYU Broadcasting is finally under one roof in its new home, broadcasting throughout the world as a light on the hill. For True Blue, I'm Robbie Bolo.